Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn why JavaScript is loosely typed and why TypeScript is strongly typed. First I will create an example in JavaScript. Later I will take that example and convert it into a TypeScript code. Let's get a function in script.js. Name will be add for this function. I will simply take two values, value 1 and value 2 and it will simply concatenate and return now create a variable result and we'll pass two strings beta and marks let's make use of console.log and print the result save it so this is the output if i'll make them numbers let's make it 5 and 10 it is obvious i will get 15 okay but if i'll make it a string for example let's make it peter save it i'll get this kind of output as you can see this function is working absolutely fine as long as the type is same we both are string we are getting concatenation we both are numbers we are getting total but if one is number and one is string we are simply getting concatenation in return we can fix this problem with the help of typescript now let's take this piece of code and paste it here in case of typescript you have to specify the type so we are expecting strings here so we have to put string we are expecting a string in return also so we have to specify the return type here like this so now you can see we are getting error here and it is stating argument of type 5 is not assignable to parameter of type string so we have to make it string here let's put box some space save it and this is the output if you wanted to take only numbers you can simply put number here return type will be number now just delete this thing put 10 and 15 you'll get 25 and return so due to this strong typing feature of typescript typescript is less error prone you can write more robust code which will be highly scalable there are a lot more feature apart from this in the future videos we'll learn about types functions function overloading overriding classes there's a lot of stuff so now you know very well why javascript is loosely typed and why typescript is strongly typed now i know you are wondering what will happen in case if i'll make it a string here you can see i'm getting error here and if i'll go to the terminal window just save it and i'll see that error see nothing going to happen here your file will compile absolutely fine and you will see the output in the browser but in case if you want to stop the creation of this script.js file in case there is error so you have to set a flag first just delete this file okay go to tsconfig and here just after this flag will be no emit on error so this is a flag which you have to set to true it is by default false so you have to set it to true just save it now go to typescript file now when you will save it it will not generate the script.js but if i'll make it false here save it now go to TypeScript file, just change it, make it 16, save it, and here you will get your script.js. So it's your choice, you want to set this flag to true or false, but by default it is always false. So let's check it out again, make it 10 and 15, save it, close this terminal window, and this is the output. So this piece of code is working absolutely fine.
सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो हैव अ नाइस डे